What's up guys? It's been a while since I've made a video on this channel, nearly six months. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a little find that I had found yesterday um, while going antiquing since a lot of stuff is opening back up. Um, there's a local antique place that I love going to and I've built a relationship with the owner. So anytime any sort of old camera comes through, they kind of make sure that I get first dibs on. So to explain kind of what happened yesterday, I stopped in, it's been a while. I Last time I was there was before the whole pandemic. So early, early March, because I remember I was telling the owner that I was going to California in like a week, which ended up never happening, unfortunately. But everything happens for a reason, because since then I've gotten into medium format film and started shooting on that. I don't think I would have acquired the cameras the way that I did. Um, which is a whole totally different story for a totally different video that I'll have up probably in the next video. Um, so anyway, basically, let me tell you guys what I bought. I went in there yesterday looking for some vinyl records and some film camera stuff. But luckily enough, I was able to get this NWA vinyl record that only has two songs on it, but it was sweet, so I'm glad I got that. And they didn't really have any cameras out, so I was like, oh man. So I ran to the bathroom, and as I passed the front counter, the owner's like, hey, before you leave, I need to talk to you. So I was like, oh, it's probably about a camera. So I went up there and talked to her. She was like, hey, I don't know if you remember the last time that you were in here, we spoke a little bit, and there was a woman in the line that you were talking to, which I do remember, and she had told me that she had a camera. I think she was a customer, um, but had a good relationship with the owner. So anyway, she brought the camera in, and she had a price for it, and I bought it. So I'm gonna show you guys what it is. I have to say, I don't think the camera body itself works, but for me, this wasn't the selling point anyway, to be totally honest. So let me show you guys what I ended up buying. All right, so first things first, the camera body itself is a very cheap, basic Konica. Um, I've never had a Konica. I know it's like similar to Minolta, or same company, something like that. But uh, essentially, this is the camera body. It is a Konica FP1 program. Um, so you can't adjust shutter speed or anything like that. The light meter works and everything, um, but it will not, it, it like advances, but it like, it's so weird. Like it'll let you advance, um, but once the counter's at one, like you can't shoot, I don't know. I tried loading film in it thinking maybe that was a thing, but this, this is just gonna sit on my shelf 100%, which is fine with me. I paid $120, and here's why. Let me break it down for you first. Okay, so the video that you guys are watching right now is shot on the Sony a7 III. I absolutely love this camera, and I have an adapter for Canon FD lenses to use off of my old Canon AE-1. So I always heard Konica glass gives off an amazing look. They're just, I always hear good things about Konica glass. I haven't, I can't speak for it yet, but the reason I bought all this stuff was because the camera looks cool. Um, she had that price. She broke down why she wanted. She wanted 140 for everything. She broke down why she wanted and what was priced at what, um, and or make an offer. So I made an offer of 120, generous offer because I don't mind paying for you know maybe this lady has more stuff or knows somebody that does. She's like, oh, he bought a camera off me. That's how I like to do my business. So whether you think it's a waste of money or not, here's why I could justify purchasing all this stuff. One awesome camera bag okay great little camera bag tons of compartments it came with the Konica FP1 and it came with the 50 millimeter f 1.7 all these lenses have a UV filter on them so they're in amazing condition so this is an f 1.7 which is really cool to me um, I can't wait to pretty much use this and what I mean by that is I just ordered a adapter for the a7 III to use the Konica AR lenses, which is what these are. So right there, I already feel like I got my money's worth because I looked it up. This lens is about 30 bucks for the 50 millimeter F 1.7. Um, so if you want to argue price right there, 30 bucks. Um, as far as I'm not selling any of this stuff, but as far as getting my money's worth, then it also came with the 20 mil, 28 millimeter F 3.5. Um, so we have a nice little case here super freaking nice and it's got like this awesome it's just it's so cool to me so yeah here is the 28 millimeter good thing is i have filters polarizers and nd filters for these sizes um 3.5 this would be great for some video stuff and just some really good vintage um 
you know, vibes, because I really do love shooting on manual lenses. I do shoot a lot of video, and cinematically, I think these lenses will be very pleasing. So we have a wide, we have something good for portraits, um, and like I said, these little cases, man, they're freaking awesome, with it engraved there in the top. So we have those, then we also have the 70 to 150, which I think will be an interesting lens to use. Um, again, has a UV filter on it. So the lens has been kept very clean, as you can see that shine there. So I'm excited to also use these as well. And these are all the uh, Hexanon AR mount. So I don't know much about these, but from the research I've done, people really like using these um, on digital cameras. So 70 to 150, and then the big daddy. Uh, she doesn't fit too great in the case. I did get it to fit, but it is the 300 millimeter. Um, again, in its in its case, I found this lens. Well, hold on. Going back to the 28, I found it about $45 on eBay. Um, the 70 to 150 was about $37, give or take. And I found a couple listings for this 300 mil in very very similar condition. Actually, a little worse condition for about $200. So this is a 300 mil, which is like super awesome. It's got the built-in lens hood, which I think is freaking awesome. Again, UV filter, but you can just look at how clean that glass is. Um, I can't wait to freaking use this lens on the a7 III, uh, do some just cool shots. Uh, I really wanna try to photograph the moon one night. I've never really attempted to do that. And I could even potentially get a 2X teleconverter and turn this into a 600 mil. So I literally just ordered the um, Hex Hexanon AR to Sony E adapter. Um, so I'm, I'm super stoked on that and I cannot wait. So really quick, let me show you guys what else came in here. Um, she had a manila folder labeled with, uh, I think there was a, some sort of manual in there and a bunch of other paperwork that's actually in my car. but. There is some other stuff in here as well. Um, stuff about the lenses, I believe, yeah. Owner's manual right here. Couldn't figure out how to get the camera to work, although the light meter works, I don't know. I just, I thought it would be kind of cool to shoot on it um, because it, it is a nice, it's a very nice looking camera body. Very simple, I love the black. I'm not sure, I believe this, we, these were in production from 80 to 82 and then they ended production. So, although it might not be the most professional or nicest camera. I think it's a kind of a little rare quirky thing. Um, but here I'll even turn yeah, the cameras on the self timer. I believe that's what that is. will light up if you can see there. Um, and the light meter lights up and everything. And I don't know, it's just, it's weird. I couldn't figure it out. Maybe I'm just stupid, but it's very clean. So it kind of sucks that it doesn't work. I'm not going to call and complain about it because I wanted the lenses. That's literally it. I even told Lady I'm probably going to buy it and never use the camera and just use lenses. So came with that paperwork, it came with this uh, cool little brush here. It's just some vintage stuff. I kind of love the engraving on it. It's just interesting. Um, and then also came with more lens caps, which is always nice. She uh, factored that into the price as well and some of the caps for the body and then the other lens as well. So pretty cool. Um, let me try to find So in here another leather pouch with a flash. Pretty cool. If I can even get this to work, that'd be pretty sweet. But again, everything's just so pristine. No signs of wear at all, which is really cool to me. So we also have that. I guess this is a lens hood of some sort. It looks like it was never used, which is which is awesome. But again, just to kind of go with the whole kit. And then in here we have some old ass lens cleaning wipes, which is kind of cool. That's the receipt for my purchase. Then there are these two empty film canisters. Um, they were just also in there as well. I put this in there because I was trying to load the camera and unfortunately it just wasn't working. So a few of these shots are definitely exposed, but I'll use it for something. Um, but then what I thought was really cool 
So there's other film canister in here as well. And in here we have an unshot roll of Kodak Royal Gold 200. It's C41 processing, so I'll be able to develop this at home. I have to see and look when the production ended for this film. Um, so I don't know how old this, this is, but I do intend on doing a photo shoot on it. So if you would like to see that, drop a comment. Um, if you'd like to see a video on that, and I'll figure out which camera to load it into, probably the Nikon F3, 24 exposures, so that should be interesting. If anybody knows anything about Kodak Royal Gold, please let me know. I'd love to hear about it. So that was my recent, um, my most recent camera purchase. I do want to release a video for you guys about my medium format photography. I'm going to leave a link in the description to my main YouTube channel. Um, I released a short film on why I like shooting film photography and why I still do it and all that stuff and how I got into it. So if you'd like to see that first link in the description will bring you there. I would really, really appreciate if you would check it out. I worked super, super hard on that, like nine hours editing, computer kept crashing, had my friend shoot uh, cinematics of me shooting film on his red. It was just a really epic time and a really uh, amazing video that I spent a lot of time on and I would really appreciate it if you would check it out. So. That's it on what I've been doing and kind of a small update. Stay tuned for the next video on medium format. I promise you guys it's one of these stories, but even better, um, a much better story. So make sure to check that out. Stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Um, I think I'm going to wait until around 500 to 1,000 subscribers, and we're going to be doing a camera giveaway. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is quite yet, but we will be giving away a camera with a lens and a roll of film fresh batteries, ready to go, ready for you to shoot. Maybe if you're just looking to get into film, this will be perfect for you. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your week.